Welcome Libra Scorpio to your in-month reading for November. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Look at this. Oh, it fell over. I didn't notice that. Okay, here we go. Getting straight into your energy of what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Please for the end month for Libra Scorpio. This message coming out is five of wands. A little confliction going on. Okay, could be some arguing as well. Could be inner confliction. Let's see what's going on. Could be both outer and inner. Clarifying on the Five of Wands is not only clarifying on it, but the entire reading. Clarity of belief. Having the clarity and understanding of what is really going on and why you are in this confliction. Okay. So let's get straight into the situation. The situation is taking place. In the present, the recent past, and the near future. It looks like with this butterfly over here, though, that the clarity of belief is really going to be really overcoming. And uh, maybe the, I don't know if it's going to be now or the or the near future area, um, because it's showing this transformation of really getting clear about what's really happening, guys. So just, you know, we have this butterfly that's showing, well, my transition over here is saying I'm even getting clearer about the situation than what is I am already clear about. So having the Queen of Wands coming out is showing that courageousness that you have within yourself, self-confidence, the Six of Swords in the recent past moving on with the Eight of Wands progressing up, also having a text message coming in, some kind of message coming in about the situation. Um, it does feel like it's two in one. Um, with the Six of Swords over here in the recent past is talking about moving on. Um, is someone moving towards you? Are you moving towards someone? Moving away from someone? Or just moving on? You have the Page of Pentacles over here. So it could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo. It could also be dealing with a Gemini. So it's saying, well, look, this is what the situation is. I'm moving on. It also feels like they are trying to give you something. They're giving you a proposal. They want to offer you something. Um, and they're moving passionately towards you. Could be dealing with another fire sign as well. Could be an Aries um, or a Leo. We've got a lot of fire going on as well. Lots of fiery energy um, due to uh, just a lot of action being taken. So it feels like they were moving towards you in a, this passionate place and really moving towards you with the Six of Swords. But they're offering you but then you're standing your ground. It's almost like you halted. You said, stop. Stop. Don't come any closer. So as they're moving towards you, Libra Scorpio, you're saying, stop. I, I don't want you to get any closer at this time. And why? Why is this? Because you're having this little argument. Are they arguing their point with you? Are you, you know, I started to think that's a, like head over heart situation. It feels like an inner battle over here. Like maybe at one time I wanted you, this is for some of you, take it what resonates, throw it away if it's not your story, but it's almost like I wanted you to come and show me love at one time, but now I don't want you to. Maybe they broke your heart at one time and they want to come back and try to refix this and you're telling them, whoa, stop. We're not going to do that again. So it's this inner battle that you're going through with the, the clarity of belief that, you know what, maybe I don't want this. It's almost like they've been manifesting you and you're just putting up your and defending yourself saying, no more, don't offer me this. I don't want you to. And you have the courage and the strength over here to say exactly what you want, right? And to take the action that you want for yourself, showing that courageous peace that you have. 
um, already built within yourself. Your intuition is kind of on target over here with the clarity belief. So you're strongly intuitive at this time and not allowing anything to come towards you that you're seriously not wanting. But like I said, it feels like a head over heart situation because it's like my heart says, no, I don't want this here because you hurt me last time. But my maybe my head says, man, I really do like this person. Maybe it's the other way around. Um, however it is, but it does feel like you have to kind of stand your ground against the situation. And yeah, look at that intuitively, really think at this. And it feels like you are at a crossroads between your head and your heart about this situation. Um, and you might even be coming across a little bossy when you do so, um, when you tell them kind of stop, right? So they might even be like, whoa, you're a little bossy right now. Well, that's that fire energy coming out. Um, but it's also kind of your energy as well, because Libra Scorpio already has that kind of boss mode. Um, you already have that kind of within you anyways. Um, so when you have the strength, there's the strength coming back out again. So it's saying, yeah, you're definitely in a strong mode right now with this clarity of belief. And it's really the clarity of belief that's really strong and intuitive with you at this time. There's more strength and more boss mode within that area than probably any other area at this, at this moment, right? Because you, you're just having this understanding, if I let you back in, you're going to hurt me again. Or maybe I don't want them, and if it's not them who hurt you, maybe you were hurt in the past and you don't want anybody in your life at this time, right? So you're saying, I'm sorry, maybe you're manifesting me or coming towards me, but I'm not ready for, um, I'm single, I don't want love right now. Um, so it's either one or the other. <clears throat> It's definitely a relationship, but keeping faith and belief to yourself, knowing exactly what you want at this time. Um, and if it is this person from the past who is coming back, you're saying, I don't want any more of this. I have a, you know, an idea that I can have a relationship when I want it, how I want it. And this isn't it, right? Or it's not the perfect timing to have it. I see the moon up here as it's being kind of half full, kind of like the cup is kind of half full. And I'm, that's where I'm also kind of getting this idea that it's a head over heart uh, matter is because the cap, the, the cup is half full. Half of it is air and I don't want it. And the other half is you're weighing me down because I kind of do want you. <laughs> Three of cups. You may think also um, that maybe they were looking at someone else and maybe they didn't have, the other person didn't take their offers and now you feel like maybe they're coming after you. Whoa, who's that for, right? You're saying, wait, you were looking at my friend before and you didn't want me and now all of a sudden you want me? So maybe they, or for some of you, maybe they thought the grass was greener somewhere else and then they got kicked to the curb and now they want you back. But you're saying, I have the joy and happiness within myself at this time. Um, and so this is kind of conflicting with the joy and happiness that I already have. And I know within the clarity of belief what I have and what I'm capable of having. So definitely, yes, definitely looking out at choices. And you also might be even kind of weighing the pros and cons of taking this person back because of the head over heart um, situation that you have getting back, uh, you know, kind of getting to the bottom of the situation. Right. Really taking control of the situation. Ooh, getting down to the truth of the situation. Oh, absolutely. So now you're the queen of swords and that Libra is coming out, even though it's a Gemini card, it doesn't matter. That air within you is saying, and I'm getting down to the truth of this situation. It might even be a harsh truth that I'm coming to the realization of what's really good for me. Um, but it's fine. Because I have the intelligence and all of these good things and the drive and all that to get to where I need to be. Right, because the Queen of Swords knows really how to cut through the BS and get straight to where it needs to be. And that's really what you're doing. So as you're kind of making decisions, you're kind of cutting right through that, really getting to that clarity of belief of the situation. Wow. And you're saying it's kind of overwhelming me at this time. So I, I really don't want that. Um, so, yeah, I don't see you. Yeah, I see a lot of you are single and you're saying I'm happy where I am. I'm prosperous where I am. I don't really want that. Thank you very much, though. See you later. <laughs> Thank you, though. So you have this text coming in, and you're also feeling like you're just progressing as really the Nine of Pentacles over here, my friends, right? And you're saying, I'm just traveling in the right area. Um, this conflict will go away. So the Five of Wands will go away. You'll come to the compromise of yourself. 
because you're going to cut through everything and really get down to the truth of the matter, which you already do so well. I mean, that's right there. That's your own energy. It's getting down to the true beliefs and the true areas of yourself. That's one of your really strong points um, of your zodiac sign. Um, eight of wands. Yeah. And you have this text coming in saying what? I'm not going to travel towards you. Don't worry about it. Oh, so at least they're saying you, you said stop. You told them I don't want this. They're saying that's fine. I'm not going to travel towards you then. I'm done. And it could definitely be in Aries. Um, and they're saying then that's fine. It's almost like they're texting you and saying, okay, fine. Have a good day. But you feel like they're kind of wearing a false mask, like they're playing it off. Like it's kind of a play text, right? Like you don't see the truth within it. You think that they're just kind of catching your, your goat over here. So it's like, oh, well, sorry to bother you then. Um, I'll just leave you alone. But you know that's the emotional uh, piece to them and they're playing a, a part. And it kind of feels like they want you to text them back and be like, oh, no, I didn't mean it that way. That's... That's totally what that is, right? That's what it is. They're playing you. How do we know that? Five of swords upside down, wearing a false mask, trying to get your attention. Absolutely, because they're depressed and they're sad because you're not, you were the two of cups behind them and they really wanted you to take that. But you have doubts and insecurities and you're saying, no, I don't, there's just some suspicion to this, this text anyways. So as they're over here being very sad and depressed about this, I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone. I'll never write you again. You're having the doubts and suspicions that they're being truthful about the situation. Because you know as well as I do, guys, they want you to text you back, just like I said, right? They play this heart on my sleeve scenario and then want you to, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Of course you can write me. I just don't want to go out right now. So pretty much they're trying to make you feel guilty. Um, that's really what's going on there, right? That's what people do when people want people to feel guilty, right? They play your emotions. Let's say you're having doubts and suspicions about this, about this scenario. Oh yeah, because you know the truth. Because the truth be told that that is not what's really going on. They may be sad with the Nine of Swords, but they're trying to give you anxiety. They're trying to get you in your head. They're trying to make you feel guilty. Oh no, I shouldn't have been so rough to Aries. Maybe I should have just given them a chance, but that's not what you wanted. Like I said, there might be one piece to you that wanted that, but in the overall, you came to the conclusion, you know where you need to be and this is not it. So they're going to play on that emotion and it's kind of a mental game. It's also a mental game. So playing over here with your heartstrings, um, but you're the imprint, so. And they did. They wanted you to actually nurture the situation. They expected you to come back as Venus. You, they, they said, well, you know, Libra has that Venus side, so I'm going to play with their heartstrings. And I know because they're loving, they're going to come back. Because I know how they are. And you're saying, no, not not this time or, or not with you or however it is. You're not going to get me there. I've done that before. Or I'm never, I'm not that person. You're playing with the wrong person. I'm not that type of person, you know. You could even say, I'm Libra Scorpio. I, I'm not just Libra, right? I don't just do that. My Scorpion side says, no way, Jose, right? Too tough for that. Absolutely. Trying to give you three of, of swords because you gave them three of swords. So they're trying to kind of give you the pain back, but in a very um, manipulative way. And you're going to progress away from that and not give that any attention. So you're definitely ignoring this text that they're going to give you in the near future. And it's probably around the 4th or 6th or 7th of the month of December. And you're going to say, no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to play that. We're not going to play the small, you know, the smallest violin in the world. Because that's what he's doing. She's doing. He's playing their smallest violin. Trying to get your attention. But they will continue to come back consistently. Do not think that this is over. They're going to tell you this is over. I'll never talk to you again and play that card. Um, but, but it does say with the Knight of Pentacles, they will be back sooner or later. And they will persistently try and try again because it's not over. Right? It just means, fine, I'll go 
I'll go away for a little while, but I will be back. And because this is a constant, persistent thing that they're not giving up the ghost. Right. And like I said, if you're not dealing with an Aries, it could be a Taurus, a Capricorn or a Virgo. You've got some, a lot of air, a lot of earth over here. Um, they could even have earth in their chart, who knows, or both. But you're not going to be generous to their offer. You're still not going to take their offer, right? So it does feel like, here's the scenario. In the next couple of weeks, right, maybe even a week from now, they're going to make this message, try to tell you this, you're going to blow it off, and then around... Maybe a week or two later, they're going to come back again, and you'll be like, dang, where'd you come back again? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I was just writing. Oh, my God. I'm just writing to see how you are. I wanted to know how you were. And it's going to be different because now they're going to be a little more firm but a little more loving about the situation. Not that small violin playing my fiddle, sad, depressed person. They're going to come back as this, oh, hi, I want to know how you're doing. Totally happy, totally different, just like they were over here in the past. So it's like a cycle with them. And then as soon as you turn them down and you're not generous to them, bam, complete separation. Now they're going to go away because now they feel like you've neglected them. You've completely hurt them. You know, they don't want to watch you anymore and they're not focused on you either. So now they're not watching you or focusing on you. So that's when they actually go away. But is it, is it forever? We can't say that, right? It could be back next year, <laughs> right? We're not going that far. Um, but yeah, definitely not going to be focused on you the way they were before. So definitely separating. So you won't hear from them for a long time. And then who knows, maybe, shoot, come January, like I said, maybe they'll be back. Shoot, some of you, it could be, you know what, it could be a, a, some kind of Mercury retrograde. I have the uh, Page of Swords over here, thinking Gemini retrograde. Oh, gosh. I, it's like, oh, God, not that one again. Why? Why always that one? Because that's what the karmic ones, right? That's what the karmic love really wants to interfere with most relationships. Okay, guys, so keeping it calm. You know who you are. Keep up with your your intuition, you know the truth about the situation. Just remember, this person is not going to give up the, go, uh, the ghost anytime soon. They're going to continue to keep coming back and forth, back and forth throughout the end of the month to at least, at least Christmas time. Okay. I mean, at the furthest. Um, do something to improve yourself. An improvement you make will benefit all of humanity. Well, that kind of reminds me of this over here. Maybe you can just go out and make yourself a good wardrobe. Uh, make yourself pretty. Do something for yourself to keep your mind off of all this um, inner confliction that they're causing within yourself. Right? But go be the Venus um, piece to you. Right? That you have within yourself. Get a little Venetian. Okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.